What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel for your reading for all signs. Cap to side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free channel for your reading for all signs. I uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type your sister up by the links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. I'm open for personal readings. The information's in the description box below if you're interested. Um, I just pulled the cards. This is the energy I got. Lovers upright, change upright, sudden wealth upright. And I did get a channel message of why I'm doing this reading. So, um, just saying, just saying. So, um, love you guys. All right, so the channel message I received was... Um, you were supposed to be the wealthy woman a long time ago, um, but through many series of chain events, you're about to be. Um, I heard people are scared. They have stole your money, and they are scared now because there's been many changes, but there are many series of chain events. You're about to get your money back. Um, and I heard there will be a lawsuit um, in one of these situations, if not more than one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, wealthy woman, you should have been years ago. Um, however, this resonates and applies, and the cards clarify it. Number 15, 9, or 11 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 15, 9, or 11 could be possible ages of children, of yours, or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. 15, 9, or 11. We have lovers upright, change upright, sudden wealth upright. Privileged lady. You should have been a long time ago. Now, for some, I feel you could have made yourself the privileged lady um, regardless of People, I feel this is theft here. I feel people, somebody has stole from you or they have blocked your opportunity or opportunities um, and strategically try to leave you stagnant like abuse situation. But uh, through many series of chain events, you're about to you're about to get it. I heard people are scared now because there's been so many changes. So change, 555 five, five, change energy. Um, and so it sounds like they're about to release the money or release some blockages or release some information or something um so you can get your money or go towards your money or go towards the opportunities or something how that resonates privilege one uh, lady should have been privileged lady a long time ago okay we have lovers upright Through many series of chain events, you're about to run into someone. And it is about to be a very strong connection. Very strong connection. You know how to protect yourself. You know, you know how to give copacetically. You need to let this person do the same. Okay, so you playing in how it resonates. Okay, so you haven't met this person yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. Um, you're about to meet them in a very unexpected way. Okay, I heard you're about to meet them in a very unexpected way. So whoever you are, privileged lady, should have been privileged lady a long time ago. You're about to meet this person in a very unexpected way. You're pulling lovers upright, so I think they're going to be physically attracted to you. You're going to be physically attracted to them. I think there's going to be a connection there. Um, hopefully other than physical is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think, um, uh, hopefully there's intellectual stimulation there, sexual stimulation, um, physical, mental, emotional, you know, all, all the chakras align, not just one or two. Um, I heard, you know how to give copacetically, but you need to let them give copacetically. So, I heard you're about to meet them in an unexpected way. So however you're about to meet them, it sounds like you haven't met them yet, but you're about to. And it sounds like it's somebody new to you. Definitely somebody new to you. Okay, that's confirmation. Definitely somebody new to you. It's definitely somebody new to you, ma'am. Um, you should have been the privileged lady a long time ago. I feel for some, you're building yourself up to be the privileged lady. Or you already have built yourself up to be the privileged lady. Or you're in the process. How that resonates. Um, but However that resonates, it's somebody new in your life. Now, it could be homosexual, it could be heterosexual, 
Bisexual, how that resonates. I'm a heterosexual kind of person, but I know everybody has different preferences. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? But is somebody new to you and um, you're about to come into contact with them soon, I heard you know how to give copacetically, like in relationships and um, emotional type situations, but they need to um, they need to do the same. So if they don't, my suggestion would be to cut them off until they learn how to give copacetically in a positive copacetic manner. Because if you keep giving, giving, giving to this person and they're not giving you anything back, whether it's communication, time, energy, what have you, what have you, they're going to keep taking advantage of you. Of course, you can take the advice or leave it, okay? Change. There's been huge changes here. There will be more huge changes. It's about to speed up in a huge way on many levels. Just the way you like it. Okay. Heard there's been huge changes here. There'll be more. And it's about to speed up in a huge way just the way you like it. So whoever you are, I think you like fast. Obviously, you like fast pace. You like to go, go, go. You like, I think you like to get out. You like to see the world. You like to do things. You like to work. You like to whatever you like to do. I mean, I didn't hear specifically what you like to do. Only you know what you like to do, not anybody else. But you like to get out, go, 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 do, 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 do. Whatever it is you like to go do, go, do, go, do, go, do. And um, whether it's career, whether it's hobbies, whether it's um, kids, whatever it is, you like to, to be in the mix of things. And it sounds like it was held stuck and stagnant for a while. And for some, it could have been that C-19. You know, we were all in quarantine for forever. But um, but however that resonates, it's about to start speeding up. It's about to start speeding up. Speed, speed, speed up. Uh, I heard there's already been huge changes. There's about to be more huge changes. So lots of changes occurring here. Five, 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 already in the universe. Past energy and upcoming futuristic energy. Um, I think with this uh, possible relationship upcoming, or possible connection um, for some, for some just changes in general, whatever the changes are, okay? I didn't hear anything else, okay. Set and wealth. There's about to be money, 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 money. So much money. So much money. In a legal way. Some you have earned in the past, years ago, you're about to get. Some it was in a wheel you were supposed to get. Some you're about to earn. Some employment, some business, some businesses. Okay, so money. I mean, I heard so much money, 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 money. So much money, you're, you're not even going to do yourself money for some of you guys. For some, you already earned this money a long time ago. It was held back from you. Sounds like strategically. That could be the people that are scared now. I think they withheld your money, stole your money, what have you, what have you. For some, you're about to get it. And I heard for some, one of you guys, a lawsuit, at least one lawsuit's going to occur, if not two or two plus. Um, of course, that would be on you if you choose to place the lawsuit or lawsuits for, for whoever that's for. That's for what situation one, withheld money, stolen money, what have you, what have you. Situation two, um, it's through um, some kind of wheel. You were supposed to get money in some kind of wheel. Um, and it sounds like it wasn't given to you or it was withheld or it was stolen or what have you, what have you, you're about to get it. Situation three, it's either through current employment. If you work out in the 3D, I don't, but some of you guys do, I know. Uh, for some it's through business or businesses. I heard so much money. You're not going to know what to do with yourself. So, I mean, you're going to have plenty of money. This resonates and applies for you. Plenty, plenty. Money, honey, money, honey, who loves the money, honey? Hell yeah. 
I mean, it just makes it so much easier. And that's just the truth. I mean, who likes to be stressed over money? Not I, said the little red hen. I know you guys don't either. After all this occurs, you're about to make a very important phone call. One to your children, one to somebody else. You're going to be so happy. Okay, I heard after this occurs, you're going to make a very important phone call for one of you guys to your children. So two or two plus kids, I'm presuming, and one to somebody else. You're going to be so happy. So for some, somebody else could be this new person if you already if you meet them before all this occurs. For some, it could be just somebody else. Um, it could be a, a parent if you're in good standing with your parent or parents. Y'all know I'm not. I, I, uh, hell no. Just saying. My false monster. Hell no. Um, but whoever it is, whether it's a parent you're in good contact with or a neighbor or a friend or a coworker or whoever, uh, um, some kind of phone call you're going to make to somebody I think you're in positive connection with. For some, and for some is to your children. So two or two plus children, I think, letting them know about the good news with the money. Um, that's who I'd be calling, and that's just the truth. Um, even though my daughter hates me right now, um, I would still let her know because I still love her. And that's just the truth, very much. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. There's about to be a shocking death soon. This funeral will be very integral. You will learn very important information. Okay, I heard there will be there's going to be a shocking death soon. You're going to learn very important information. So if this resonates for you, privileged woman, woman that should have been a privileged woman a long time ago. There's about to be a shocking death soon. I heard you're going to learn very integral information at the funeral. Um, if this resonates for you, spirit message to everyone. So, um, obviously, I think you're going to get notification of the death if this resonates for you. And um, somehow you're going to learn shocking information at the funeral. Message. That's the information at the funeral. Um Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. It sounds like the death is going to happen soon. And whatever this death is, it's shocking. It's not like somebody expects this person to pass away. It is a shocking death. Um, nobody expects this person to pass away. So I don't know how they're going to pass away. I don't know if it's a motor vehicle accident. I don't know if it's a heart attack. I don't know if it's a stroke. Um, I don't know if it's some other kind of gruesome means of passing away. I don't know if it's self-inflicted. I'm not sure. I didn't hear how they're going to pass away. But it is shocking. For sure, for sure. Nobody's going to expect this person to pass away. Um, people are going to be in such shock at this funeral, they're about to just pour the information out. Pour it out. Okay, I heard people are going to be in such shock at this funeral, they're just going to pour the information out, pour it out. So it sounds like somebody withheld information from you in the past, privileged woman that should have been a privileged woman a long time ago. But at this funeral, people are going to be so shocked, they're just going to pour the information out. So it's going to flow like butter because they're going to be in such shock and disbelief at this funeral. Um, message, communication at this funeral because people are going to be in such shock because they're not, I mean, what? whoever is about to pass away, it is going to be a shock to people. And it sounds like a lot of people. And that's why they're about to uh, hold the, um, not withhold the information, they're going to share it. Number seven can be a very significant number in one's life. Number seven. And you will get communication about this death for sure. And you will get communication about this death for sure. So you will get communication about it. But people are going to be in such shock about this death. They're just going to flow the information out. Sounds like they probably would strategically withheld it from you in the past for probably malicious reasons, spiteful reasons, or strategic reasons, or what have you, what have you. But um, it sounds like it's going to flow like butter. All right, I love you guys. Everybody have a good night. Namaste.